Access grant. Himself. What are you talking about? Christ almighty, lad. You got half the garrison shedding up cells and afraid you got in patrol. Look, I don't want no trouble. You hear? The commander said to help you. That's what I'll do. Just, just don't kill me, all right? I got children. Eat them. Well, I, look, I, I don't really have yet, but uh, all right, all right. I, I don't really have any. Just, just don't fucking shoot me. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Well, whether that's true or not, I'll take some comfort knowing there's three inches of bulletproof glass between us. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pulled around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say of being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. Ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a savvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just. No freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an errand that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. Interested? All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier. If you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. I like the sound of this. Fuck it, right? You like the sound of this? It's the bollocks. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, little Sparrow and my employee managed to lose one through maintenance circulation. But he got himself shit canned before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, 
No idea really happened to him. Right, so long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I think I already found one. Aye. Let me see what you got there. That's the 329's trigger module. Let me know when you find the other two. What are you buying? Funds. If anyone's here, come out now. I've got something. Ah, ah. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted.
conspiring to commit a terrorist act. After processing, you will undergo a preliminary medical examination. Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Nothing I couldn't get rid of. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. Access 
Granted. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please. You've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought, with, with all the security around... Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I, I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither are most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't! You have no idea what it's like! Please! I can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please! Don't go! So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Kaitner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, 
Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Keitner out. Activating security scan. Subject recognized. Access granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Keitner, I've got the eye, but it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Keitner out.
<laughs> so, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. Aye, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a golf stopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with that. It. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. I gotta go. I think it goes without saying, but uh, we never met, all right? Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. How could you hold it here? Ugh.
Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Um... Kavanaugh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant, and by then, by then it was too late. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I... I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <laughs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. 
The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Bert keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep-sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower, if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Something suspicious. Stay on patrol. Keitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. Yeah, I'll get right on that. 
got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell. Lab tube. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. The whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner? Keitner! The level is dropping. You found a way to save everyone, Bratan. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietka said, everything's connected. You'll still need to unlock the submersibles while Whistleblower can go free. Use the touch screen in the command tower. It'll also let you back inside the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chuvak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. Kavanaugh, I've unlocked the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started. It's over. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. Activating security scan. Thank you. 
biometric data assembled. Subject not Corporal Tyler, or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. You're clever. I'll give you that. Most men aren't capable of seeing beyond the choice in front of them. But whatever you think you've done, it's of no consequence. Helping that fool Kavanaugh escape, saving the lives of a few worthless civilians, it won't change anything. All you've done is make yourself a target. The Reed Woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again.
mission yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. I'm standing, he's not. Good. With Bark out of the picture, he's a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to loading bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, it can be on it. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely, and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. And the prisoners? Ah, yes. The prisoners. With Kavanaugh out, it's only a matter of time before this base makes international headlines. Until that time, however, I cannot say what Bell Tower will do next. I only know that a cornered and desperate bull is a very dangerous beast. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain, but what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Another one? How many of these sites are there? If we knew that, I wouldn't have gone to all this effort to expose this one, Bratan. Right. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have, unfortunately. The cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail, but I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Cause I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, mate. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, 
If you have followed my instructions precisely, you will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. 